Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Odroid XU4 running Recallbox 5.0. I'll leave a link in the description to the version of Recallbox that I'm running on this. I was actually sent this board from a company called Ameridroid. They're based in the US. And if you're in the US looking for an Odroid or other Raspberry Pi like single board computers, I suggest you check their website out. Link is in the description below. Now this is very similar to the Raspberry Pi and everybody's been asking me what do you prefer, the Raspberry Pi or the XU4. I have not spent enough time with the XU4 yet and I know that the Raspberry Pi is going to be developed for down the line. So as of right now there is a lot of development going on for the XU4 but you never know. In six months all the developers could just stop supporting it. You got to keep that in mind but for now there's a lot of stuff going on for the XU4. This board has an 8-core Samsung Exynos 5422. It's the same chipset that was in the International Galaxy S5. Has a Mali T628 6-core GPU, 2 gigabytes of DDR3, SD card slot, 2 USB 3.0 ports, 1 USB 2.0 port, gigabit Ethernet, a nice fan and heatsink that comes with the unit itself. It's powered by a barrel jack instead of a small micro USB because it's going to draw more power than the Raspberry Pi. Let's get right into it. Today I'm going to test some PSP games. I got six of them to test out. Now this version of Recall Box runs PPSSPP. So if we start any one of these, um, let's go to... First up, we're going to do God of War. This is Chains of Olympus, God of War. I am using a wired Xbox 360 controller. If I press my hotkey, it'll bring me into the PPSSPP settings, which is really cool. We can go right in here and change the resolution, save your game, change the back end. So for God of War, I don't use frame skipping and I don't like using frame skip on any game, but sometimes you might need it. For this, we're leaving it all stock the way it came. This game's hard to run no matter what you do, so let's get right into it. I already have a saved game. I'm gonna load it up from the very beginning. Now I must warn you, this game runs like crap, just like on a lot of other devices. So, very slow. As you hear, the sound is horrible. So, what I'm going to do is turn the sound down a little bit more. And I can speed the game up here by pressing the alternate speed, but. It's unplayable. I tried all kinds of settings and this is about as good as I can get it right now. So, God of War Chains of Olympus will not be playable. I'm going to back out of here. I can exit the menu so I can do everything within the PPSSPP menu here. Let's try Monster Hunter United. And I have a game saved here. So it's really not that bad. Let's go and uh, kill some dinosaur monsters. So I'll turn the resolution up when I get over this way. some monsters here. You should have no trouble at all running this game. I'm at 2x. If you do run into some lag with multiple creatures on screen, you can always go to 1x and it's probably going to run fine for you. I love the way it looks at this 2x. It might even be able to go up to three, but it looks good enough for me. I'm on a 39 inch Samsung television. Looks great. Let's test it. We'll go to settings. I'm gonna go to three. And for me, it looks even better now. 
But I can almost guarantee you that if you get into big battles, uh, it's going to lag at this res. But the game seems to run really good on the XU4. I'm really enjoying this board. I've tested out a bunch of different operating systems, and I've come back to Recall Box. It's just so much easier to emulate games with Recall Box. And this is based on the newest Recall Box 4.1, so all the cores are updated. We are going to try Little Big Planet. And we're going to leave this at 3x. Uh, why is it? Keep an eye out for these things. Okay. Seems to be running pretty well. Little Big Planet should be very playable for you. This is at 3x resolution and looks great. I mean, this looks just like the PS3 version. I'm really surprised it's running this PSP emulator this well. There is a fan and a heatsink on the XU4 and you can hear it Come on every once in a while. It's not going to kill you. It's not loud enough to bother you at all. So let's back out of here, try another game. Tekken 6. We're probably going to have to come down on the resolution of this game to see how it acts. Get ready for the next battle. So obviously the sound's choppy and it's acting very slow. So let's bring it down. I'm gonna go to one times PSP. So it did speed it up a bit, but I really noticed it's, it's really slow. It's not at full speed. There's all kinds of tweaks you can do within the PPSSGP emulator. I don't like doing frame skip at all. That's one of my pet peeves. If I have to turn frame skip on, to me the game's not worth playing. So, if this game doesn't work at full speed, Tekken Dark Resurrection is definitely not going to work at full speed. Yep, a little bit of glitch in there. I got two more games to test. Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep. So I had to turn the sound down for this game, but the uh, sound is great. And I'm very surprised that it's running this well. I know we're at 1x, but it runs really good. Let's see if we can bump it up just a bit here. Woo, that looks so much better. And I really don't notice much of a slowdown at all here. Oh. And I'm just kind of running around here. Now. 
Nice. It's good to see this game at a playable frame rate. That's very impressive. I, I love this game and I've tested it on several devices. And I've had trouble with a lot of them. Android boxes and things like that. Only thing I could really get it to run like this was my PC or my Nvidia Shield Android TV. So you should have a fun time playing this game. So it looks good. Frame rate's awesome. This should be a very playable game on the XU4. I got one more game to test here. And that's going to be Burnout Legends. And another one that's very, very smooth. Let's see if we can go up a little bit. So I do notice a little bit of slowdown at 3x. Oh gosh. I just hit the fast forward button. You might want to keep this at 2x. I notice a little bit of chopping here and there. Definitely way better than the Pi 3, but like I said at the beginning, we never know how long we have development going on for boards like this. The Raspberry Pi is very, very well known, so there's a lot of people working on stuff for it. The XU4 does have a really big community, but you just never know. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. I will leave links down below to the recall box build. Ameridroid, so you can buy one if you want to, and a couple other videos that I have of the XU4. Like always, thanks for watching.